Hoax bomb threats are in the news, with over 90 such threats made against airlines operating from India in the past one week. As the term suggests, these threats are hoaxes and no actual bombings occur, resulting in no loss of life or property. However, despite their lack of destructive impact, they are severely affecting the financial health of the Indian aviation industry and tarnishing the brand image of airlines. Today's uh, value, if we uh, impute that value, it would be around 70 to 80 lakhs for uh, uh, a hoax called diversion, etc. And uh, if fighter jets are scrambled, the cost of the fighter jet scrambling is around 1 crore. So we are looking at a total cost to the exchequer of uh, to the tune of about 2 crores or more if it is a bigger aircraft long haul sector. Airlines incur substantial financial losses when a single flight must be landed, rescheduled or returned to its original destination due to such threats. Aviation fuel costs nearly rupees 1 lakh per tonne, which is wasted if a flight returns without completing its journey. Additionally, the expenses for accommodating passengers and crew due to flight rescheduling after a hoax bomb threat further burden airlines. Amid a series of hoax calls made to airlines, the government is exploring ways to place these callers on a no-fly list. We have seen that if you can do a little amendment there, it can specifically strengthen the cause which we are fighting for right now. So one of the idea that we want to propagate by changing these rules is, once we catch hold of the perpetrator who is behind this, we want to put them in the no-fly list. Some experts are also recommending AI-driven IT solutions to track and manage such threats. What else they can do is passenger profiling. Uh, they have smart systems of analyzing the messages through uh, artificial intelligence, the trend of the message, the text of the message, emotion of the message, then you have to see the sequence anywhere else such messages have come. India has become the third largest domestic aviation market in the world and is expected to surpass the UK to become the third largest air passenger market by the end of the financial year 2024. However, such security threats could hinder its growth, which is projected to reach the size of 40 billion US dollars by financial year 2027.